Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. In this episode, I'll show you how to configure the DNS proxy settings in TP-Link Kumada. This feature allows you to have a DNS server of your choice without having to change the current settings under each VLAN. And I'll show you that in during the configuration. What I mean by that is that in a typical setup, the DNS server is usually defined in the VLAN per subnet. And it is usually the same as the gateway IP. Let's say 192.168.1.1 is your gateway IP. Your DNS server is also 192.168.1.1. However, it is particularly useful when you want your clients to use a custom DNS server, but you do not want to edit each and every VLAN settings. It is also good to use the DNS proxy if you want to redirect the DNS queries to a more secure DNS server. Also, with the DNS proxies, you can quickly check if the new DNS server works for you and if not, just disable it and all the systems will revert back to the default normal settings. Finally, I have tested this capability in ER8411. As you can see in this video, I'm using it now. I did test it with the ER7206 with version 1.3.0 firmware. For the ER8411, I tested it with the version 1.1. .1 Point zero, the latest one that has been released this July. However, I cannot find this functionality for ER605 version 1 hardware, even with the latest firmware. Okay, let's check the lab design. Okay, so for this design, just focus on the add guard. This small Raspberry Pi in here, this is 192.168.10.75. This is my custom DNS server. If you have been following the series, you will remember that home VLAN has security in it, meaning all the other VLANs except the admin VLAN cannot access home VLAN for security purposes. And in the other episodes, I have shown you how to create an ACL just to allow, for example, an IoT VLAN gain access to that particular DNS server. However, in this scenario, we will not use any ACL. We will not configure any ACL to allow your IoT system to use that custom DNS server. By the way, if you are interested to implement this new generation LAN design, I will leave the link in the description. But for this video, I will not discuss this design. I have uh, several episodes that cover the implementations uh, of each and every VLAN of this particular network design. Okay, but before we head for the configuration, when you get the chance, I want to ask for your help that if you find this episode helpful and useful, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to help the channel. Okay, so let's jump on to the configuration. So as you can see here, these are the devices that I have. This is the ER8411, SG2210MP for the switch, and EAP235 for the access points. This DNS proxy settings is applicable for both wired and wireless clients. So whether you have a wireless client or a wired client, it will apply. Okay. So let me just quickly check the setting here for the switch. So for the ports that we are going to use, port 5 of the configuration this is vlan 80 as you can see here vlan 80 port 5 so port 5 we're going to use that for demonstration purposes so that will be this empty slot in here if you look at the mini video there is an empty slot here that's port 5 and i'm going to plug my pc this pc there for demonstration purposes okay so and let's review the vlan settings again just to let you know what I mean by you don't have to change each and every DNS server. Okay, finally loaded. Um, as you can see here, if I would like to use the DNS server 192.168.10.75, I will have to go through each and every one of these and change the DNS server from auto to manual and I have to enter here 192.168.10.75 right and then I will click save I'll, I will not save it here I will hit save and then I have to go to um, let's say camera and I will do the same thing manual 
and keep typing and keep typing so that will be tedious if i have so many vlans in here that requires that custom dns server so however there is a way to make it easier so all you have to do is to configure the dns proxy settings so for this one let's go services and let's go dns proxy and that's where you define that before i show you the configuration for the dns proxy let me just show you the console for the AdGuard server. You can see here, let me refresh the statistics. Yeah, so you can see there's nothing in here, nothing. So even if I refresh here, refresh here, refresh here, and refresh here, and refresh here, nothing is showing up because nothing is using this DNS server for the time being. And I'll show you that it will be used later on. And also for this DNS server, I have configured it for DNSSEC, this one. So I have it enabled the DNSSEC um, settings in here, okay, and I will show you where that one falls in the Omada settings as well. Okay, so let me just go back to the dashboard and let me refresh the settings to show you that nothing is using this DNS server yet, okay. So now we're going to enable the DNS proxy, okay, so enable it, and that's where I'm saying DNSSEC, okay. And I would like to add 192.168.10.75. You can see here this IP 192.168.10.75. This will be my DNS server. Okay. For the time being, let's just go click pass. But if you like, you can um, drop all if it's a bogus supply. Okay. So let me click save. Okay. That one is saved. Now let me do a let me transfer my this one here okay so you see my home pc and you can see that it's disconnected okay and let me connect this one this one so i become a vlan 80. Uh, there you go okay now let me ping let me ping ping 192.168.10.75 so you can see that i am not able to reach the dns server at this point in time okay okay let me do a minus t in here however i can still browse the internet and i'll show you uh let me show another one um cmd Bump. Uh, let's say google.com and you can see i made one request to the 80.1 trying to check the IP address of the google.com server now I cannot check ad guard here as well because I don't have access to the ad guard server I will have to move my cable back to the admin VLAN in here okay. since I'm here let's see Okay, now it's deploying, meaning I can access the DNS server now. So if I hit refresh here, you can see that there are 99 DNS queries. I'm not here to discuss about AdGuard and its functionalities. I'm here to show you that by using the DNS proxy in the Omada controller, you can redirect the request from the home VLAN. This is where the AdGuard server is connected. So this one says, hey, someone is asking google.com domain this one okay you can see here google.com and this is the IP address so it's currently modeled by some yeah um, razor sign up because my pc is this pc is asking a lot of information from the dns server so that's why it's also checking all those information here okay but you can see this is the first one that we check ns lookup the very simple one what's google.com right with the ns lookup and we got a reply from here Okay, let's see the fresh statistics yeah it will continue to go more and more because my pc is using this more and more as you can see 
since the DNS proxy is now enabled, all the DNS queries will be sent to this particular server. Okay, anyway, let me just go through that again. So, check that again. Let's schedule, let's go DNS proxy. So this is the DNS proxy, it's currently enabled, it's saved. And if you don't want to use this again, to use this anymore, as you can see, currently I'm using it. Uh, um, let's open up yahoo.com this will definitely result in a lot of um, requests and mind you I'm currently in the admin VLAN I'm not in VLAN 10 I'm in admin VLAN so you can see 1.103 and if I run let's see NS lookup You can see that I'm using one no one that one. Okay. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. And let me refresh this again. You can see that's 332. And if I don't want that to be used anymore, I want everything to revert back to normal. All I have to do is disable that, click save. And now, if I refresh this, it will start at 360. So nothing will happen again. So let's do um, Reddit.com. Okay, refresh. Nothing is being redirected to the address. So If I enable it again, unfortunately, if you enable, you have to enter it again. So that's how it works right now. Then that's 75. So click save. And, and let's go. How about AR Technica? It has add guard server blocked a lot of things in here. So I guess that's the reason why it's a little bit slow. So advertisement is blank. Um, yep. So. And let's refresh this again. Refresh statistics. Even if this particular server is being blocked from another VLAN, you can easily and quickly make use of this particular DNS server by using DNS proxy. For this one, it applies to all your VLANs. There's no change on your client, which is awesome. Your client remains the same. It's a very easy thing to do, a very quick thing to do, and very low effort with huge, huge impact or with your LAN setup. Okay, so I think that's uh, pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you don't like this video, please give it a dislike. But do let me know what I can improve upon. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you again for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.